In a previous lesson, I mentioned that anytime you read in a spreadsheet, either CSV or Excel, into a pandas data frame, any of the cells in the spreadsheet that uh, do not contain any data or that contain empty strings will be uh, turned into the NAN object, which uh, stands for not a number, but basically represents missing data. So there is a way that you can um, take care of this by uh, broadly replacing missing data using a method called fillNA, and we'll see how to use that in just a moment. There are some methods that produce Boolean output called is null and not null. So if the cell has a null value in it, then the value of is null is true. If the uh, cell does not have a null, then the value of not null is true. So let's see how we can use those. So here is a table that um, provides information about schools in Nashville. And so we can see there's a number of different columns here. But the column, several of these columns, like the number of students in pre-K three-year-olds and Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders um, have not a number or missing data values in some of the columns. Now, in order to decide what the appropriate action to take, it, we need to think about what is, what is the meaning of having missing data there. So, for example, in the Hawaiian or Pacific Islander column, those values actually probably should be zero because the reason the cells were empty is because those particular schools did not have any Hawaiian or native Pacific Islander students. So in that case, it would be appropriate to replace any um, of the not a number values in that particular column with zeros. So I can use the fill in a method um, as I did right here and then specify using a dictionary which columns I want to um, perform the replacement in. If I, if I just simply um, enter a number in as the arg a single number or string as the argument, it will apply it to the entire data frame, but I don't want to apply it to the entire data frame because some of the columns it's not appropriate for. So I can select the particular column I want by using its name as the key in this dictionary and then the vitamin that the value that I want to replace it with as the, the value in that dictionary. And then I have added this in the in place argument afterwards because I want this to actually perform that action on the school's data. So if I run this cell, I can see now that the Pacific Islander um, values, Hawaiian or Pacific Islander values for the first three schools have been changed to zeros, but the other cells that had missing data values have not been touched. In the case where I have not a number or missing values for uh, certain schools, that is actually the appropriate thing to have in that column. So for example, high schools do not have um, pre-K students in them. So um, it makes actually more sense to just be able to exclude those rows that contain high schools. If we want to if we want to do some kind of statistics on the prevalence of uh, the number of students that are in the school, it, it makes more sense to leave out schools that don't have those students than to say, oh, high schools have zero of those. So what we can do is use the, um, the uh, is a not null method to select out all of the rows that um, do not have null values. So the way that I can do that, and we'll talk more about using Boolean selection a little bit later in this lesson, is that I can specify that the column, uh, the column in the school's data called pre-K three years is not null. And then it will go through the, 
data frame and every row in which it is not null will be displayed. Any row where the value of not null is false, in other words, where there are nulls, it will not display those rows. So if I run this, I can see that it is filtered out the, um, the first elementary, first two elementary schools, which did not have pre-K, and also Antioch High School, which does not have pre-K. These are now not displayed. And in fact, I'm only getting elementary schools in my output. Um, so that's a, actually a good way to filter or select out schools for which particular values are not appropriate. 